In today's video, we're opening the new Retro Pack 1 versus the old school Legendary Collection. What's up guys, we are back with another video opening the brand new hottest set retro pack reprint, which everybody seems to be loving and I'm having a lot of fun opening and I decided let's do another opening. You know, we've done a few openings of this so far, but why not do one more and pit it against another fan favorite, the legendary collection reprints. It's essentially old school versus old school, but in new form. So this should be a lot of fun. Put your votes down below. Who's going to win? Retro Pack 1? Legendary Collection 1. Legendary Collection gets the promo pack, so that's going to be a little advantage. But Retro Pack's pretty hot right now, and some of those secrets can go for a lot. But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. Salamander, Penguin, Soldier, and the Winged Dragon Rod. Just like the video, be subscribed. Turn notifications. Let me know down below who's going to win. Let's go. Let's get these open. I think we're going to start off with a Retro Pack, because there are three of these boxes versus only two, but there's still 12 packs versus 12 packs. So let's get right to it and see who will win the battle. All right, first box... Retro pack. We have not technically pulled blue eyes on the channel. We did pull it on whatnot though, in a whatnot stream. When we were trying to do that dual whatnot stream, it didn't work out. We had to end up just doing what whatnot versus YouTube as well. We ended up pulling the blue eyes in that stream. So technically I have pulled it, but I would like to pull it on YouTube too, because that, that clip has not made it to YouTube just yet. This video is sponsored by whatnot. Guys, I am hitting 15,000 whatnot followers coming up this week. And because that is an awesome milestone on whatnot, I decided to be do something crazy. We're gonna be opening 24 packs of the Duelist Genesis live on whatnot this Thursday at 5 p.m. Central. And if you don't know the significance of first set Duelist Genesis, they cannot be pulled out of booster boxes, at least in the USA. I know there's some weird stuff going on in Europe, but in the USA, there's no first edition packs unless you get them from tins or pre-release packs. And these packs came out all the way back in 2008, so they're really, really hard to find now. And if you do get lucky and pull that Ghost Rare Stardust and get a PSA 10 on it, you might have a $20,000 card. So if that sounds like a fun opening to you, make sure you check out Whatnot down below. And oh wait, did I forget to mention something? We're giving away a Ghost Rare Stardust Dragon in the live stream. This card right here could be one of yours. All you have to do is go follow me down below, get your $15 free credit if you are a new user, and then show up at the stream at 5 p.m. Central on Thursday, where I will be giving it away to one random viewer. You don't have to buy anything to win that card. There will also be another nine giveaways that you could potentially win, so keep an eye out for those. Make sure you go follow down below. This is going to be one of our best streams ever. If we pull that Ghost Rare Stardust, maybe one of my best pulls ever. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right, four packs of Retro Pack. Can you bless us with that Blue Eyes White Dragon? I'm rooting for Retro Pack because I'm just a fan of the Retro Pack uh, set. It's been really fun. But Legendary Collection has potential at getting some pretty amazing stuff as well. Baby Dragon, let's see what we can get. Jurai Guma, the Harpy Lady. It seems like you guys like that Retro Pack 1 uh, opening than uh, Duel versus Rhyme. So we're gonna probably be doing that Catapult Turtle. Very nice. In the future again with a different set. So keep an eye out for that. It's gonna be really fun. I'm excited to do it again because the duels, they ended up pretty epic. I mean, the triple monster reborn, double Raigeki. I mean, you can't really, you can't really touch that. It's pretty fun. Polymerization, we have Baby Dragon, Joey Wheeler, we have Mahavala. Mold Destruction, UFO Turtle, Flying Kamakiri number one, The Giant Trunade, uh-oh, uh-oh, Scapegoat, wait, have I pulled this? Ultra Rare Scapegoat, I don't know if I've pulled this card yet, maybe once? That's pretty sick, actually, because this used to be the high rarity of Scapegoat. I don't know, I guess the original is still kind of the high rarity for Go format, but the, the new one, I don't even know. Where do you place a reprint on the uh, rarity scale? Interesting, I don't know, is that around the ulti or not? I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, but so far we're two for two. Retro pack is always cooking. I want to compare the number of foils pulled versus legendary collection. We're probably going to pull like one foil out of 12 packs. It's going to be brutal. We have Hain Hain. Upstart Goblin, the Black Illusion Ritual, looking for Relinquished. Heel Zen Rue with Bastion, Mystic Tomato, and Guy of the Dragon Champion. We're three for three. We are cooking right now. Three foils in three packs. Yeah, the, the Legendary Collection is going to need those promos big time. Like, I thought about taking them out, and I'm like, no, that they, they won't have a chance if they don't have the promos. Okay, one, two, three, four. Mahavilo, we got the giant soldier of stone, a giant warrior made of stone. A punch from this creature has earth-shaking results. Trapple, magic jammer. This is like, okay, this, these are always together, because when we did the duel, every pack that had these had them together, because I was noticing, because I actually needed them. Giant rat, we have Hio Zanru. Luminous spark. And the Suijin. All right, that's our first dud of the opening. 
Also want to remind you guys that tomorrow is the Whatnot stream opening 24 first edition Duelist Genesis. I'm going to give you guys a little preview of those, by the way. So let's just take these packs out real quick. First of all, we have these 24 first ed Duelist Genesis that will be sold live at auction on Whatnot. So if you want to be there, you want to potentially pull the first edition Ghost Rare Stardust Dragon, which if you get to PSA 10, I haven't seen a sale in a long time, but it was like 26, 27 K. It's probably lower now. It's probably 20, maybe even 15 if it's bad enough. But I mean, that's still really awesome. So you guys can potentially pull that. Hopefully that will be pulled. It's going to be tough because, you know, it's a one in 288 pull rate. But there's also the ulti in there, which is really big. And of course, we are giving away an unlimited Ghost Rare, which if we don't pull the first dead, you could still win this Ghost Rare right here which is one of the best looking Yu-Gi-Oh cards ever, for sure. So all you gotta do is be at the stream. So make sure you click the link down below, get $15 free credit if you are a new user and then go bookmark the stream so you don't miss it. It's gonna be pretty crazy. Okay, so we know that the back card is either Blue Eyes, uh, Dark Magician or Red Eyes on this promo pack. So let's see which one we got. We're not going to spend too much time on these. We have a Red Eyes Black Dragon. That is an okay one. I think it's probably still a couple bucks. How's the back look? Yeah, definitely. It's got the normal stuff it's got a little ding got a little scuffing they always come out a little bit messed up but still not bad a little promo pack there then we have our six packs we have probably gonna uh we're probably gonna end with lob metal raiders ioc no no, no fair servant ioc yeah let's do it like that so six packs we're gonna open here for this legendary collection can we pull uh, Dark Crisis? I guess it's Tsukiyomi now is the bigger rare. It used to be uh, Skill Drain, got a lot of reprints. Final Countdown used to be a couple dollars. I think it's not anymore. Despair from the Dark, we have Cessus of Dogla, The Battle Scarred, Rod of the Mind's Eye, Shadow Knight Archfiend, Gaga Gigo. I had to use this in Wheel Goat the other day. Or well, actually, I don't know if we ended up recording that one or not, but I thought I was going to have to. 1850 is actually pretty decent, but nothing in that pack. That's the difference between Retro Pack and the Legendary Collection. You're just not going to pull that many foils unless you get lucky. So let's try to get lucky here. Spell Ruler, Blue Eyes, Toon Dragon, and Relinquish. That's what we want. Mystic Plasma Zone. I did get wrecked by, by Jared using Mystic Plasma Zone on Twitch the other day. That was kind of brutal. Hungry Burger. We have Ancient One of the Deep Forest. Stone of Gregato, Queensburg, Flying Kamakiri, number one, and Giant True Nate, Super Rare. That's something. And FYI, just because Jared wrecked me with... Uh, Mystic Plasma Zone doesn't mean The Last Jedi is a good movie. It's still garbage. All right, uh, Invasion of Chaos. Can we pull Chaos Ember Dragon, Blacklister Soldier, Demok? I'd even take Chaos Sword, just out of respect in the common slot. Let's do that. We have Primal Seed, Cannibal Spear, Shellfish, Soul Absorption, Gigantis. Newfound respect for this card. Really, really awesome card because it's an easy special summon in GOAT format, which is very rare because it's, you just banish an Earth if you're playing an Earth deck, very easy. 1900 attack, very solid. And then he wipes all spells and traps when he gets destroyed by battle, so very solid. Same thing with Inferno, also a pretty nice special summon, very easy, 1900 defense. I mean, there, it's, pr oh, Manticore of Darkness. Speaking of newfound respect, this card is actually way better than I thought it was. We use this in Wield Goat, and when you play like a Beast Warrior Beast deck or whatever, and you can get this guy out and he can just keep coming back, he's actually pretty insane. 2300 is a pretty nice stat line. It isn't the best. It, it matches Chaos Torque, though, so it's not horrible. We we're actually pulling really good. That's two foils in a row. We'll take that. All right, Pharaoh's Servant. Can we get the one and only Genzo? Here we go. One, two, three. Speaking of GOAT format, I mean, that is one of the best cards in the game. Respect play. We have DNA Surgery, Gucci Kuwagata, Science Soldier, Burning Land, Vampire Baby, Magical Hats. Wow, we are actually getting super rares. The problem is I don't think these are worth too much. Um, they're probably a couple bucks for Manticore, maybe a couple bucks for Magical Hats. We'll have to see uh, when the editing comes out. You guys can see the score right now on the screen. But I think the Retro Pack, just because it's newer, is holding up probably a little better. Though, because they're so easy to pull, it'll probably go down eventually. Pump King. All right, Thunder Dragon. Good pull. This is also in Retro Pack. Is it still a dollar, though, because of that? I'm not sure, but if it is, that can add to the score. Flame Cerberus. We have the Cheerful Coffin. Empress Judge. The Little Swordsman of Ale. Mooka Mooka. I think we might have gotten something again. Song of the... What, this is crazy. This is a really good special... Or whatever you call this. Uh, like it, What do you call this? It's not a special edition. It's like a box, I guess, but it's not really a box. Legendary Collection, that's just what we'll call it. We are four for five, I think, which is ridiculous for these. If we can finish it off with a Secret Rare or an Ultra Rare from LOB, that could really have a strong score. The thing is, I'm talking about this, and we probably have like four bucks total, so it's not that crazy. Spike Seedra, we have a uh, One-Eyed Chill Dragon, 
Violet Crystal, Frenzy, Panda, Umi, give us something crazy. The Armail, Mr. Razame, where's the Yame? No, Spirit of the Harp. And Tripwire Beast. Okay, so LOB, the, the one that counts the most probably whiffs. Retro packs only open four packs. Legendary Collections open six. And I'm I, I would probably guess that, that retro pack's up. The thing is, I'm really bad about guessing who is ahead. Alright. Retro pack. Though that we did have the yeah, we did have the promo, so that that will definitely help with the legendary collection. So they could be ahead, who knows? The scapegoat could be money. That's the thing that I'm not sure about. That might be several dollars. Okay, retro pack. Let's see what else you can do. Can you give us the blue eyes, white dragon, red eyes, dark magician, Exodia? Any of those would be sweet. Hey, nay, Hane Hane. You can call it Hane Hane, trigger some people. We have the uh, twin headed thunder dragon, mold destruction, rising air current. Use that wheel goat. Big fan. Giant germ. Toon Mermaid. Oh, speaking of Dark Magician, we got it. The Dark Magician. I think this guy's over 10 bucks. So that's like really solid. I know the Red Eyes is 10. Blue Eyes is more than that. So it's probably in between those. So that is a very solid, solid pull. It looks really good, too. The, the print on these just look great. I'm a fan of them. They look more like 2017 reprints, which I actually really like. Some people don't like them. Let's see about this second retro pack. And let's see what we can get. Giant Soldier of Stone. Cannon Soldier, Curse of Dragon, Gazelle, Mystic Tomato, Upstart Goblin, Rising Air Current, Mega Rayran, and the Penguin Soldier. All right, speaking of the giveaway today, Penguin Soldier, we've now pulled a Penguin Soldier. Retro Pack Super Rare. Beautiful return two monsters from the field to their owner's hands. I realized it uh, just the other day, you can return Penguin Soldier itself. So you can return one, return Penguin Soldier, just set him again. He's like never ending power if they can't out him. Pretty crazy. Two packs left on this special edition. I feel like Retro Pack is just dominating right now, but I, it's hard to know. I don't have the score in front of me. Harpy Lady, we have Arm Ninja. Shh, we have Toon Summon Skull. Nimble Mumonga, it's Sonic Bird. Shining Angel, I thought that was it. Left Arm of the Forbidden One. I don't think we're getting Exodia today, but we will set it out just in case. You never know. Last pack of this special edition. Then we're going to go to... Hmm, should we do all the legendary? Maybe we'll open them both at the same time so we can kind of go through the packs. Giant Soldier. We have the Cannon Soldier. Gaia. Thunder Dragon. Could be money. I'll put that to the side. Giant Germ. Gaia Power. We have Sonic Bird. Giant Rat. And Time Wizard. Joey Wheeler. Spinning for a little luck. Will... You get heads or tails. Time Wizard, very nice pull. It just feels like we're pulling better cards. I mean, the Retro Pack reprint is just absolutely awesome. I definitely need to buy more of these. Like, I, I don't have enough. I have some, some other ones, but I really need more. Okay, what we're going to do for these last two boxes is because I, I have a suspicion that Legendary Collection might need some assistance and uh, so they might, if we just open all these, they might just have lost already when we do the last four packs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through both last two boxes at the same time. I really kind of hate how these legendary collections were put together. They're really like annoying to open. Okay, so we have four packs of retro pack here. We have six packs of legendary collection plus the promo pack. We'll do the promo pack first. Let's do that. Okay. So first, let's see. Okay, wing dragon of raw. We actually don't need to open this so we can just value it as a sealed wing dragon of raw pack. Probably wing dragon of raw plus like a dollar or two, something like that. Okay, we'll do dark crisis and then we will kind of go back and forth from here. Try to see if Legendary Collection can make a run, unless they're already ahead and I'm just completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're not. Let's see. The promos definitely are helping. Sakuretsu Armor, one of the best cards in Dark Crisis. Ray of Hope, we have DD Trainer, Pandemonium, Dark Scorpion Combination, and Dark Scorpion, Manet the Thorn. Back to the old ways of not pulling anything. Retro Pack will salvage that, however. Here we go. Also, don't forget to subscribe. If you guys have not, we are almost at 250K. We're going to be opening every pack, plus a lot more when we get to 250,000. It's going to be insane. You don't want to miss it. So hit that subscribe button and we'll pull another catapult turtle. That's not the best pull. So it's actually good for the legendary collection if we pull that. Spell ruler. Blue eyes tomb would be big here because the reprint actually does pretty well. I would guess. I know the 2017 reprint got up to like $40, which was insane. This thing's probably not that much, but it's probably in the ballpark. Jig and Bakudan. That is not a blue eyes tomb dragon. That's not going to help too much. Retro pack one reprint will you pull us we pulled dark magician again but we have not pulled blue eyes let's do that pendant we have luminous spark molten destruction come on rising air current okay it's a vanilla oh, it's 
It's red eyes. We're both everything but blue eyes. Red eyes and dark magician. I think I last saw this was 10 bucks just a couple days ago. So it's, I mean, that, that plus dark magician is going to be pretty hard to compete with for the uh, legendary collections. We really need something like a BLS, Chaos Ember Dragon. Even, I don't even know if the CED is worth a ton because it's easier to pull in these. So it's probably only like, it might be a $10 card. I'm not 100% sure. We're drama black. We have Pinch Hopper. Zero Gravity is actually a decent trap card. Um, Lacunga and DD Scout Plane. We got a foil. The DD Scout Plane. I don't know if he makes it to a dollar. So he might not even count toward the battle. So not an incredible pull there. Only five packs left in the opening. Retro pack is just pulling fire left and right. We've pulled a ton of foils out of Legendary Collection. Like they... Haven't been completely terrible. They just haven't been the big ones. The Arm Ninja. We have Polymerization, Giant Germ, Toon Mermaid, Mystic Tomato, Upstart Goblin, and another Gaia the Dragon Champion. Super rare. Okay. Okay. Pharaoh Servant. Jinzo would definitely help. It would help big time. It would give him a chance. We need it now. We have the Bombardment Beetle. Drill Bug. Creepy. Watch out for that dude. Sky Scout. Driving Snow. Gift of the Mist Glove. Mystic Probe. Type Zero Magic Crusher. Shift. Oh, shift. Will we get something good? No, we got an island turtle. Oh, shift. One pack of retro pack left. One, two, three, four. Last time to pile onto the lead that they probably have. Thunder Dragon, that probably adds something. Umiruka, Nibble Bamonga, Giant Shrewnade, Mother Grizzly. Oh, and a Gate Guardian. That's definitely going to add something. Okay, these are some good pulls out of retro pack. Gay Guardian, no secrets today though, that's unfortunate, but that gives Legendary Collection a chance. Metal Raiders, we need Summon Skull, we need Beast Skull, we need uh, Gay Guardian, Secret Rare, the original. We need uh, something, we need something like that to have a chance. Come on, we have Ryukish Empowered. Seven Colored Fish, send some luck guys in the comments. Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts, always treated as a Phantom Beast card, kind of crazy. Uh, Mystic Lamp, Protector of the Throne, Swamp Battle Guard, one Tribute. Why did Joe Inc. and Tristan have such bad cards? Crash Clown. The Witch of the Black Forest, banned, and Crawly Dragon. All right, last pack magic. If you guys enjoyed it, do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more content and 250K, very close, like 3,000 away, something like that. We are very, very close. And don't forget to check out the big whatnot stream tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central. It is going to be absolutely crazy. I hope we pull a Ghost Rare, Ultimate Rare. It could be insane. So don't miss it, 5 p.m. Central. Click that link down below. Last pack magic. Let's get that Blue Eyes White Dragon. That could maybe give us a chance. Book Secret Arts, Follow In, Electro Whip, Two Mouth, Dark Ruler, Hard Armor, Beast Fangs, The Flame Ghoul, and here we go. Last. What's going on with this card down here? Does that have a corner cut weird? It's a lesser. Dr Check this. What is this? It's got a pointy corner. This thing's completely jacked. Look at this. That would have been kind of cool if it was a blue eyes, but it's just the lesser dragon, which is lesser than the blue eyes. Okay, that is it. Here's the final score. I'm guessing Retro Pack 1. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Anesto Deanna, America Doyster, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Changelang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.